let f be the function f of x equals square root of 4x minus 3. What are all of the values of c that satisfy the mean value theorem of differential calculus on the closed interval 1 is less than or equal to x or and x is less than or equal to 3? To find c, we're going to use this equation. f c prime is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a so we're going to put 1 as a and 3 as b our first step here is to find f of a and f of b so f of a is equals to f of 1 and we're going to replace x by 1 so square root of 4 times 1 minus 3 is equal to 1 and f of b is equal to f of 3 equals square root of 4 times 3 minus 3 is equal to 3 and then the second step is to find the derivative of f of x First, we're going to rewrite the equation without the square root. We're going to remove the square root. So f of x is equal to, we're going to put 4x minus 3 as it is between brackets to the power of 1 over 2. Because square root of x is equal to x to the power of 1 over 2. And now we're going to find the derivative. To find the derivative of f of x, we're going to use the chain rule. We're going to multiply 1 over 2 by the number in front of the bracket. So 1 over 2 times 1 is 1 over 2. And then we're going to bring down 4x minus 3 as it is. 1 over 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over 2 times the derivative of 4x minus 3 the derivative of 4x minus 3 is 4 now we want the equation to go back to square root we're going to rewrite it in square root form so f prime of x is equal to 1 over 2 times 4 is 2 over since the power is negative we're going to put the square root down and we're going to put 4x minus 3 inside the square root. The third step is we're going to use this equation now. So, f prime of c is this one. So we're going to write 2 over square root 4x minus 3 is equal to f of b is 3 and f of a is 1 so 3 minus 1 over b is 3 and a is 1 so 3 minus 1 so we're going to have 2 over square root of 4x minus 3 is equal to 1 and now to find x, we're going to use cross multiplication. Square root of 4x minus 3 times 1 is square root of 4x minus 3. And 2 times 1 is 2. To get rid of the square root, we're going to square both sides to get rid of the square root. So 4x minus 3 is equal to to square both sides to get rid of the square root so 4x minus 3 is equal to 4 we're going to move 3 to the other side it's going to be plus 4x is equal to 7 to let x 
be alone we are going to divide both sides by 4 so x is equal to 1.75 so c is equal to 1.75 we're going to check if 1.75 is between 1 and 3 and it is so our answer is correct